We just got comfy. My battery is dying. Oh, yeah. Battery is Okay, hi guys! Huh? Hi guys! Okay, three, two. It is all about what Sabrina taught us. Um, if you guys don't know, or if you have not been following our journey, Sabrina is our lease horse. She's the very first horse that we've ever had as a family, huh? Yeah. And she is a Westphalian thoroughbred cross, which makes her a warm blood. We leased her for a long-term lease. It actually has only been six months, and she's getting ready to go home. Um, at the end of our lease, we offered to... Bye buy her because we love her so much and they said no because they love her too so um and she's not for sale but she why do they lease her out every single year because otherwise she'll just be they only need her in the summer if she they didn't lease her out every single year she why would be sitting her in her them? field yeah because they own her so we can't lease her to them but that's i know good idea. but if we buy her Oh, that is yeah. such a good idea. If they sold her to us and then we leased that her to that for free even yeah. um, for the months that they need her. But anyway, um, it's we- It's just like two months. Yeah. She did teach us so much. Grateful for every single second that we got to spend with her. We have um, a saying goodbye video coming up very soon. Yeah. And yeah, you know there will be a lot of tears. And I think you guys will be surprised who cries the most. Who do you think is going to cry the most? Yeah. Mom? No. I <laughs> she cried when her goat was gone. Yeah, like I am gonna cry. Which we were there. Five. Yeah, I am gonna cry, but somebody else is gonna cry way more than me, and I think you guys are gonna be surprised. Who's the cry baby in our family? Yeah, I mean. Sophie. <laughs> somebody who's not here, who is the cry baby, who cries at every show he's ever watched. Dad. 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 I think Dad will cry. Okay, so anyway, let's get <laughs> on with the video and share with you how Sabrina changed her life. So I'm gonna go with Sophie first. Sophie, how did Sabrina change your life? Um, she taught me how to sit the spook. She taught her how to sit the spook. What does that mean? Um, when she spooks, I sit it, sit it really With good. With your thigh muscles. No, I don't use any thighs. What do you use? My legs. Okay, so she uses her legs. But anyway, no, I don't even move on. Before we got Sabrina, we'd never really been on a super spooky horse before, and as soon as we got her, um, as soon as we went to go see her, she was wearing these huge earplugs, and we should have known then, but we didn't know because we were not experienced enough that she is definitely a spooky horse. So, um, we all learn how to sit the spook out. That's why I don't know. Yeah, we, Gabby learned to always keep her feet in the stirrups, even when you're cooling out, and I learned to always keep my legs glued, like, like metal to her Stripes body. Help me stay on. Okay, so Gabby, I want to know from you, what did Sabrina teach you? To hold, on for, right to hold on for dear life. To hold on for dear life, but didn't she teach you how to jump? Like, seriously, Gabby, what? Yeah, jump and hold on for dear life. Gabby was jumping before we got Sabrina, but Sabrina never refuses. Sabrina <laughs> never refuses. That was Gabby's mantra the whole, almost the whole entire time that we had her and um, it really helped Gabby's confidence level. So she gave you confidence, didn't she? She was yeah. definitely a confidence building horse and I loved being able to watch Gabby jump on her because she felt so much better than she ever had before because she knew in her heart that Sabrina would always take care of her and never refuse the jump. One thing that I learned from having Sabrina is that we can afford a horse. Um, before we got her, everybody said, well, a lot of people said, don't buy a horse, you're never gonna be able to afford it. And I was so scared, I was like, if they all think we're not going to be able to afford it, then we're not going to be able to afford it. And I was really nervous about it, and our battery's about to die. But it turns out that we are able to afford a horse, and it was not a big, huge transition for us. That was a huge lesson. There was a big fear for me before we got Sabrina, and even though she was a lease horse, um, we did pay for everything. We were responsible for every single thing. We paid for everything. We paid for when she got sick um, with colic soon after we got her. We paid for her supplements we pay, and her supplements are not so cheap. We pay for her grain, we pay for all the vets, we pay for her dental. Um, we have a day coming up very soon where she's going to get adjusted by a chiropractor. We pay for it all, and luckily and happily, we were able to afford a horse, you guys. If we can afford a horse, probably you guys could too. 
The biggest thing that our horse taught us was how to love and how to become an equestrian. When we first got her, we could not even get her to come up from the field to the barn, but we learned how to master that. Do you remember that? Yeah. Do you remember that? It took all of us and it took our instructor. You guys did not, you guys maybe didn't see how much um, help we got from our instructor and a lot of help from you guys too, but we managed to get Sabrina to the point where we're comfortable with her and we're confident with her and we don't have any problems with her anymore. She even doesn't even hardly spook anymore. And that's a big thing. So she turned us into equestrians, at least into the equestrians that we are today. Um, the last thing that Sabrina taught us was to love. She taught us about horses and about how they have feelings independent from ours and and that and chestnut mares are beauty. And how a chestnut chestnut mares are tricky and that we can Moving. handle it. We can handle it anyway. And um, she taught us to put her needs ahead of ours, right? Yeah, and just because we want to ride doesn't mean that we will ride. She taught us to put aside our comfort so that we could go to the barn in the middle of winter, make sure she had water, make sure she had everything that she needed. We helped a lot this past winter putting horses in because in Canada, where we live, it's grueling weather. Oh, it's horrible. Yeah, it is horrible. So, I mean, we learned to put her needs in front of ours, and that that's true love. And what? Horses come before people. Yeah, our pets come before us. It's going to be a really, really, really sad day when she goes home. Luckily, Gabby got a horse, and so we're not going to be horseless, which, horseless. Is, which is hopefully going to help us a little, and so he's looking for a horse. Anyway, I'm super grateful for everything that we've learned from her. She's been the best teacher, and so many of you guys say that she's been the perfect horse for us. She has been the perfect horse for us. Do you think she's been the perfect horse for us? Yeah. Do you think she's been the perfect horse for us? Yeah. Yeah. Are you going to miss her? Yeah. And now we ride her without earplugs. Yeah. Right now we don't even ride her with earplugs. We've gotten so confident with her. All right. That is it for, that is it for this video. Thanks for joining in. Um, there will be a lot more sit down videos coming up soon. If you have something that you'd like us to talk about, then please leave it in the description box below because we are looking for ideas. I want to thank my two beautiful mermaids for helping me make this video. Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.